What's up chicas? Let's get right into this tutorial with a clean face. We're gonna start off with priming, I'm sorry, with moisturizing our face. I'm using the Clinique um, Dramatically Change and then I'm using this Murad C Essentials Day Moisturizer. I'm combining the both and applying it to my face. The reason why is because my face is really, really dry. So here I am just applying the moisturizer, make sure that the moisturizer sets in my skin. This new product I've been using, I'll be talking to you about in another pro uh, another video. This is the Nivea Post Balm, uh, Post Shave Balm, and then I'm using the um, Makeup Forever, and also I'm using these two cover uh, FX drops that I will explain to you in a minute. So I first start off with the Nivea, and I'm going to apply it where the pores are very enlarged, which is like the right under my nose area, my cheek area. So that's where I'm going to be applying this. Uh, primer let's use it as a primer which it works amazing girls then I grab the makeup forever step one and apply it everywhere else that I didn't use that primer then I'm going in with the foundation and the one I'm using at the moment it's like the best right now it's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and then what I like to do is I'm going to be mixing it in with the cover FX uh, these are the custom infusion drops F plus Neroli hydration so it's gonna help hydrate my skin then I apply the cover FX drops to make this foundation more full coverage and then what I like to do is I like to place a little bit of that uh, hydration drops into the beauty blender and then pick up the foundation and of course place it in my face and blend it everywhere to make my face even with my neck so I'm just making sure everything is well blended and making sure everything sets so while my foundation dries I like to go in and do my eyebrows and I'm using at the moment this pencil which is the sculpt and highlight brow pencil by NYX one side is a pencil for you to um, sculpt it and everything else on your uh, on your eyeshadow I'm sorry on your eyebrows <laughs> there and then the other side is just pretty much a highlight so you can I'm sorry pretty much a concealer so you can highlight your brows eh, sometimes I do sometimes I don't so you know it's there so I'm just pretty much making sure that um, I'm making them look appropriate I will do a video of my eyebrows pretty soon then what I like to do now is I like to use the Dallas Smile Kit by Whitening Lining while I get ready to whiten my teeth. So please excuse this little um, machine in my mouth. I'm going to be leaving it there for 20 minutes. Uh, you're going to be here with me 20 minutes. Just kidding. So I'm just prepping my eyelids and setting it with a powder so I can get into work. So this makeup look is pretty easy. I'm using the Hoola Bronzer as my color for my eyes. I'm grabbing a big shader brush and I'm just applying it to the crease as you would apply a transition color. So I'm um, slobbering, excuse me, sorry. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just applying it as my transition color, bringing a little bit of uh, color, warm into my eyes, I would say, without overly doing it because this is my everyday. Then I'm using the Naked Basic Palette and I'm going in with the lightest shade of the Basic Palette which is the one in the corner and that is going to be my lid color and also my highlight for my brow bone. And then right now I'm going to go in with the darker color in the corner just to give it a little more of in-depth definition to my eyes. And just a little bit, as you guys can see, it wasn't a lot. And then I'm grabbing a black eyeliner. Girl, this is my trick for getting a perfect cat eye. I use a black eyeliner first, and I draw a line very close to my lash line. And for me, that's like my guideline to where the eye gel liner is going to be applied to. So I start off first with drawing the wing, and then I just pretty much connect towards the inside. And then I fill in as I would the thickness of the line. And I'm not winging it too much because it is an everyday for me. It's pretty much what I do, my everyday go-to look at the moment. I do just give it a little bit of a wing. And then I just type of even it out. But that eyeliner trick before has helped a lot. And then I go in with a lot of mascara. And here I'm using the Tarte Camera Lights, Camera 
Lights Lashes, I think it is. Excuse me, it'll be down below. And I'm packing on a lot of mascara, and then here I'm color correcting. My dark under eyes are like, no joke, the darkest I've seen in my life. So just color correcting with the uh, LA Girls HD Concealer, which is their salmony color. And I couldn't do it with the finger anymore because my nails are really long. So now I'm going in with my Holy Girl Concealer. At the moment, it's the NYX HD Concealer. The way this blends and the way it freaking covers my under eyes is no joke, like amaze balls girls, like seriously. And it's like $5.99. And it highlights. I'm just pretty much applying in the bridge of my nose, fanning it out on my forehead, a little bit on my lip. I can't do it under because I have that machine in my mouth. So with that fat, damp beauty blender, we are just Hey, blending away. You already know how to do it. Excuse me, slobbering. <laughs> I haven't done the whitening line in a while, so I thought I'd do it. Because my teeth needed some whitening. <laughs> so here I'm just blending it very well. And I'm going in with a little bit more just because I grabbed the one that was kind of empty. So it didn't have a lot. So this is my new one. So now it actually, you can actually see it. The other one was kind of empty. Then I'm setting it in with the NYX HD Banana Powder. Oh my god. This freaking powder brightens my under eyes and definitely sets my concealer and my pop, my wherever I apply concealer all day long and I love it. And it's cheap also. So I'm just not going to do like a whole contour type thing. I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just pretty much applying it as I would contour, but at the same time, I'm going to um, get it a lot of, a little bit higher as to pretty much just make it look like a bronzy look. And of course, on the temples of my face, and I'm blending everything away. I'm applying a little more bronzer because this is like a bam bronzy look. Contour my nose. I have a thing with my nose. Then I'm going in with this e.l.f. highlighting palette and I'm just grabbing a little bit of that bronzer color just to make it look a little more shimmery. And then I'm grabbing that white color which has been my highlight lately and I'm highlighting away. Highlighting everywhere. So the same thing I did to my eyes, I'm just doing it in the bottom part of my eyes, pretty much in the bottom lashes. Just applying a little bit of the dark brown color and a little bit of lashes to my bottom lashes so they stand out. Now for lip, I'm applying the NYX Lingerie in 06 as my base. It's such a pretty matted nude. It's just like the perfect nude to tone down any color. Now I'm going with Lip Land Color in Empire. I'm applying that on top of the NYX color. It is such a beautiful color that I absolutely love. And the pigmentation on these babies are beyond. So here I'm just applying it. Pretty much making sure that I stay within the lines of my lips. And then I'm going on with like a little ombre effect. I'm going back in with that NYX lingerie and I'm just applying it in the center of my lips. And here is the look, ladies. This is my everyday go-to look. I hope you enjoy it. And if you like it, as usual, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, hello, go ahead and do so. So thank you so much for sticking till the end, ladies. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna let you enjoy my look. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and be blessed. Bye.